As you guys probably already know, I'm such a huge fan of using my Dremel tool, but I get a lot of questions from you guys about the best way to use it and how to get started. So I thought it would be fun to put together a little Dremel 101 video, which is all about showing you how to get started with your Dremel and giving you a little bit of project inspiration. First up, what is a Dremel? A Dremel is a handheld rotary power tool that has a whole heap of different accessories that allows you to do a range of different DIY tasks. In general, a Dremel can be used for cutting, sanding, engraving, cleaning and polishing, and grinding and sharpening. There are a few different types of Dremel tools and you can choose between one that is corded or one that's cordless. Corded tools are great for more heavy duty projects, whereas the cordless are great for more intricate designs. Different tools have varying RPM rates, so it's a really good idea to check that and decide based on the project that you want to do. Before you get started with your Dremel, you have to make sure that you've got the right safety equipment. For me, I always opt for a pair of goggles and then also a mask and some gloves depending on what project I'm doing. So, what projects should you use your Dremel for? Luckily, Dremel have a really great color-coded system which shows you what the various accessories do and help you get started. The first thing to master with your Dremel is how to change out the different accessories. At the end of the Dremel is a part called the multi-chuck and it's basically a little mouth that grabs onto the shaft of the Dremel accessory. That's what you're going to open and close in order to change out the different accessories that you want to use with your Dremel. At the base of the tool is a lock button, which you hold down to hold that multi-chuck in place. And then you can use your spanner to open and close the multi-chuck. Some accessories like the sanding and polishing discs don't come with shafts. So you can add a mandrel and slide that into the multi-chuck. The next step is to understand what different accessories do and the various types of projects that you can use them in. First up, cutting. There are various cutting wheels and also a spiral cutting bit that come as part of a standard Dremel kit. Depending on the RPM of your tool, you'll be able to do big and small cutting projects. Next up, sanding. I love using my Dremel for small and large sanding projects and the various sanding discs and sanding bands make all different types of projects possible. Next up, carving and engraving. The Dremel is so great at carving and engraving so many different materials, including wood, stone and metal. Your Dremel is also fantastic for grinding and sharpening. So it comes with a couple of grinding and sharpening accessories that can be used to sharpen knives or any sorts of blades. Last but not least, the Dremel is so great for cleaning and polishing. I love using it on my upcycling projects because it makes so many different things like wood and metal look good as new. In addition to all the fantastic accessories that allow you to do so many different projects with the Dremel, there are also some amazing attachments that you can use to make your projects more efficient or more detailed. The first one is this detailer's grip, which attaches to the base of the tool and allows you better control and to do more intricate projects. The next one is this flex shaft, which attaches to your tool to create a finger grip and better accessibility. The next one is this amazing drill press which gives you ultimate control and allows you to do incredibly precise projects. One very simple attachment that I love is this shield. It goes over your rotary tool to stop the spray of sanding and other debris. And how cool is this multi vise? It can be used in two different ways to clamp the project itself that you're working on or you can also pop your Dremel tool in there so that you have better access to it and it's held still. At the end of the day, I love my Dremel because it just has so many amazing functions and with a little bit of practice, you can do so many incredible projects with it.